Good morning, good morning, guys. Welcome in. You guys may think I am crazy to be leaving this truck stop, which I guess in a way I am, but uh, for right now it looks like this is my best option. Uh, that's what it looks like. Um, talked to several drivers. They're saying the road is not as bad as what it appears. So we're going to go ahead and give it a shot, see what it feels like. I want to hope we can make it out of this. I talked to a couple of drivers there and they're saying uh, Bangad or whatever it's called, that's where we will be running out of the snow. And so uh, I'm going to try and make it past there and that's where my load picks up, right? And so because uh, I, was, I was looking at the weather forecast. And they're actually saying it's going to be uh, snowing up here till Friday. Continue so I could road. be snowed in here till the weekend miles. if I stay put, you know. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to take it real easy. I'm not going to go real fast. The good thing is it's not really that windy out here. It really isn't. Like there's hardly any wind whatsoever. So. Uh, I think we're just gonna take it real easy and try and get out of here before we get snowed in too deep, right? I mean, it's been snowing heavily ever since yesterday already. And so we're gonna go ahead and give it our best shot and get out of here. And yeah, I gotta be honest, it doesn't feel like that road is that slippery. It doesn't feel like that at all. Like it's, yeah, there's a little bit of snow on the road, but I've been on snowy conditions like this before. Yep. Oh well. I made sure I had me good breakfast there and everything and uh, we're gonna give it a try. We'll see what happens. Wish me luck guys, because I'm gonna need it. Well guys, we are still making it. Uh, it's kind of uh, you know loosened up a little bit with the uh, with all the snow and stuff like that but I do see an accident up there better keep her in the left lane up here yeah we got an accident apparently up here I just saw the sign up there uh, saying emergency vehicles out here so uh, I guess we got some kind of accident up here already yeah well, that's to be expected right you yeah, know it's gonna happen it's just a matter of time some people are always in a rush, right? And then things happen, but I hope nobody got hurt. Uh, looks like a tractor trailer. From what I can tell, I'm not sure if the camera can actually see that, but that's what it actually looks like. Tractor trailer up here. He's, uh, looks like he's blocking the right lane up here. Yeah, it's not looking good, that's for sure gonna show you everything but it's uh, was kind of scary there leaving first thing in the morning there but uh, we made it so far and at least it's not as bad anymore than what it used to be but you know, it looks like this guy jackknifed her real good here we have to hit the rumble strip here a little bit just to try and get by him here right so let's see if we can yeah we can just squeeze by him here just barely I mean it's just barely that we managed to squeeze by him here but yeah there's still some icy patches up here that's for sure we ought to be real careful we're uh, still going to try and make it to our customer I just got a phone call from dispatch here a few minutes ago and uh, asking what I think when I could be there and I said well Roads were starting to look better, and uh, I said, well, about 160 miles to go yet, and it's 12 o'clock. Uh, if the road holds up, I can be there around 3, 3.30, I'm thinking, so uh, we'll give it our best shot and see what happens, but some of you guys may say I'm crazy to be uh, having left the truck stop there, and all reality it is, but... Uh, I also knew if I go further west, it was going to get better, which you can see. It has gotten better. I mean, it's still snowing, but the road is actually in all reality better. It's wet and slushy, but
but there's no more like a couple inches of snow on the on the road anymore right they've been taking care of the road pretty good up here from the looks of things but yeah anyways uh we're gonna keep it safe and keep it at a safe speed and whatever and do what we have to do right it definitely looks like i have definitely made the right decision to continue on i'm so far still safe uh, dispatch called me a little while ago and asked if uh, i'll be there on time and i said ah looks like it i'll be there for 3 30 so uh sounds like the customer is going to be waiting there for me and right now it's starting to slow down with the snowing and uh, the roads are getting better and better and better by the minute it looks like still I don't have any slush on the road anymore and we're only 54 miles away from the customer <laughs> that scared me there a little bit a big big pile of snow on that side there let go and flew off and hit the side trailer there right <laughs> or truck whatever Oh man, that can scare you. But anyways, uh, looks like we will be there on time. We've been going pretty steadily here. And this is what I suspected, you know, if I waited till today, yeah, I might still have it pretty bad over there, but the further west I go, the better I'll have it, right? And that seems like that has been the case. So I'm happy for that. Looks like I'll finally be able to leave the storm and the dust over there. And at that way right so anyways let's get on down to the customer and get on uh, loaded and start heading towards uh, Toronto here we go guys I just finished picking up my load and uh, look at this now it's starting to kind of give me sort of sunshine here it's still somewhat cloudy but it is definitely uh, giving me somewhat sunshine here yeah, it's kind of hard, hard to see people coming from over the hill up there, so I have to be real careful here, right? Don't want to cut nobody off. But yeah, we want to get back onto the interstate up here. It's literally like, right there is the interstate. This is how close the uh, places where I picked up my load at. Yeah, I know we still got a little bit of miles stuff to the entrance drizzling to the right or whatever, but... Anyways, uh, we're going to be making our way towards Toronto now. The entrance to the right on I-95. That's right. We've gotten our load on, our massive load of uh, six pallets of plastic stuff. That's a massive 2,900 pounds. I'm like, okay. There would have been nice to have a little bit uh, more of a load, but... Uh, Hey, that's how it goes. Yeah, we gotta be in this lane here. This is the easy pass lane up here, so hopefully my easy pass works today. Oh, it even took a picture of me. All right. Yes, I'm famous. They want a picture of me. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But anyways, here we go. Let's get on onto the interstate and uh, hammer down towards Toronto. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be running into some kind of... Oh, this is not going the right way here. No, this is going the wrong way. Alright. Oh, jeez, I missed my exit, I guess. I'm supposed to be going the other way. Oh, boy, now I'm going to have to go six miles down the road to make a U-turn. Shucks, all right, well that happens, I guess. All right guys, here we are. We managed to go and turn around. There's about six miles down the road. There was a turn where we could make a U, uh, not a U-turn, but where we could, you know, like go around the circle and go over the overpass and kind of come back on the other side. Managed to come back onto the uh, I-95. and Now we've been cruising here for a little while and now we're actually already on the 495 and trying to go around all this uh, mess up here. Uh, it's obviously uh, that time of the day where uh, people, I guess, start going home from work and whatever. So uh, 
Yeah, not too bad. We've got a little bit of traffic, but nothing serious, nothing serious. Oh yeah, we're making our way towards Toronto now. Hopefully the traffic won't be too bad here, so we'll be able to just continue on smoothing right, sailing right through here, right? That would be nice. Oh, look at that. That's already where that 93 comes on to. Remember a few days ago we came up to 93? Well, that's where it goes down. Towards where I made my first delivery there in Williamtown. Yeah. So we're already up to there, so we're moving pretty good. That's good. I'm happy about that. I have now stopped for the night, guys. I found me a nice rest area and... Uh, Decided, you know what, let's go ahead and pull her in here because I was looking at all the rest areas around this area and uh, they were starting to look like they're all full, so I uh, pulled me into one and uh, yeah, I found me one spot open and pulled in there and called it a night. So here we are, I think I'm going to go ahead and close off the show here. And then we're still in Massachusetts, but we are past Boston and all that, we're already on I-90. So we're good to go. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and close off the show and then put all my files into my computer and start working on rendering because in Canada I have the uh, Wi-Fi, right? So once I hit Canada, I can start uploading these videos. So uh, appreciate you guys watching again today. Today was a bit of a tough day for me because it was kind of a tough decision to leave this morning because it was snowing so crazily there this, still this morning and uh, we got in a ton of snow there yesterday and overnight and all that so uh, yeah but I was looking at the forecast and it was going to be continuing snowing till Friday so I said you know what may as well try and get out of here now while there's still a chance right so and that's what I did I took the chance and it worked out it worked out we got our load and uh, we're on our way to Toronto right now and we'll see if I actually have to deliver this or not. We'll see. I might be there tomorrow night. And I don't think by the time I get there tomorrow night, the customer is still going to be open. I don't think so. So I'm kind of thinking that I might just have to drop it at the uh, at the yard. So we'll see. We'll see. But anyways, uh, let's get out of here. I hope you enjoyed my vlog today anyways. I know today was a bit of a weird one or more driving anyways. Not really much of getting out of the truck or anything like that but hey maybe we can get back to that tomorrow right so come back tomorrow and check out what we're up to tomorrow so with that being said have a great day everybody we'll see you back here tomorrow